All right, bro. It's been a little minute since the other video. As you can see, I went up a little bit in levels, but I've also gone up in just everything. I'm gonna briefly kind of go over like what I've done, and then I'm gonna run some shit to show you how good it's actually gotten. I changed. Okay, I don't have any crit in my build. All right, let's look at this. Right, I have no crit chance, damn near at all. Same thing with the multiplier. I've managed to take out everything. My stun chance is 189. I don't know if it has to be 189. Like if it, I don't know, because it's not a 100% chance. Like I don't hit literally a stun on every shot so i don't know maybe it's on hit and maybe three shots from because whenever i shoot flurry i don't get a stun on every bow shot you know what i mean like i i still stack stun a lot you feel me 189 i easily stun anything like instantly i also managed to increase i don't know what these numbers were before you feel me but my damage over time is at 440 my physical damage is at 370 and my bow damage is at 285 i don't know if all of these stack together i'm just assuming they do and it's a lot i, I mean it, it looks like a lot you feel me i managed to to get my armor up to 1148 or 28%, you feel me? And I lowered my dodge. It's still at 14%, you feel me? Most of this is just built in from dexterity. And then my resistances are like kind of average, you feel me? Like physical and lightning are relatively low, but everything else is pretty good, you feel me? I mean, I'm okay with all of this. This is fine. My health is all the way to 1k now, so that's lit. And my mana is at 248. I don't remember if it was lower than that, but I swear it was, so I don't know. As far as the little things up here, you feel me? Strength is at 15 by like accident because some of my armor pieces you feel me but i'll get replacements eventually and my dexterity is at 28 that could definitely be higher but for now it's only at 28 i'm level 75 so far you feel me to go over the skills about how i even managed to do all that is for one we got hell of arrows okay hell of arrows gives you 325 percent effectiveness per second and damage you feel me for three and a half seconds so every like second it's just doing 300 percent more and more and more and more and more you feel me until three and a half seconds is over you feel me and as far as i'm aware there's no limit it doesn't say it in the thing so wait let me see yeah it doesn't it doesn't say there's any limit so and then we got the duration which i'm going to assume makes it where the 325 percent just keeps stacking you feel me which makes it do even more and more and more damage you feel me so you want to max out duration because that's the most damage you'll possibly get out of it is at the end of the most duration shot you feel me and then i got this bow damage per second plus eight percent and then maximum bow damage 32 percent i don't know what maximum bow damage means or bow damage per second i don't know what any of that means but i still put two points in it just because and then i managed to get this more duration plus 40 percent you feel me so it took two points to get the here and then i just left it like that this one has one active hell arrows which is fine you feel me you have no reason to have more than one now that i look at it it says one active hell arrows i wonder if you could potentially just run this this don't run this and just shoot hell of arrows like three or four times in one spot but i don't think it works like that like the way i'm running it i think stacks better so and i think it's better on mana so i'm just gonna assume it is if i gotta change my build around at some point you feel me because i'm not doing enough then maybe i'll discover something else you know but for right now this this is really working for me right then i go this way you feel me i max this out i haven't actually used it maxed out i just did it it was at three out of four and i just added a node to it i'm gonna see how much of a difference it really makes but 100 percent area is definitely fun dude like you could clear way easier you could have way more control on a fight because some mobs like exalted mages and shit or whatever they're called just teleport everywhere so they're really annoying but this solves the problem because normally you can't hit them the radius is too small and then i go down here you feel me damage plus 24 percent and then i also get this damage plus 72 percent both damage stackers you feel me plus this bow damage versus stun 60 percent you feel me so that's where my stun chance comes in so we got all three of these scaling the damage you feel me this one brings the radius down but with how much radius i increase it doesn't necessarily matter you feel me like i'll take that plus we need the four to get to here you feel me which is bow leached health right now i only have it at tier two i did have have it at tier three i guess it got removed i don't know i don't know if there's a reason for me to have it that high because i mean i don't know how much leech you really need and i have leech throughout my build kind of already so maybe i don't need it maybe i do need it i don't know i'll see how that works later on because i'm pretty sure I ch i'm just chilling bro i don't know and this is like my main damage you feel me like literally this is the damage right like whenever i want to kill something with a lot of hp i focus on using this attack right everything is centered around this this is my mana slash like I mean, that's really all it's for is getting mana back. Flurry, it shoots three arrows really fast and you just keep rapid firing, blah, blah, blah. And each arrow hit gives you mana. So you don't have to kill a mob or anything like that. You just have to hit them with an arrow. So the faster the arrows, you know, the more mana you get. And it doesn't necessarily do that much damage. So it's like, whatever, you feel me? And now that I think about it, if anything, I might even get rid of the damage shit and just put on like some of the ailment stuff. Cause I use damage over time anyways. So yeah, but I go attack speed. I got this maxed out. You feel me? No reason to have it maxed out as far as direction. I just 
just want it maxed out because attack speed is really important. And then I got this, which gives me more attack speed per hit. It goes to a maximum of 20%, but that doesn't take long to reach at all. That's like literally shooting for like two seconds, if even. That's like an easy speed buff. Then I have adrenaline rush chance. Gives me more attack speed on top of the attack speed that I already have. So that'll just increase even more. You feel me? Then I have this more damaged bosses per stack. This is on hit. So if I do decide to go a route using damage over time, which I might do, because as you can see, this thing doesn't really do that much damage, especially compared to this. It doesn't do like damn near any damage. I might just use this as a damage over time effect type of skill whilst like going for this shit because it just probably would work better that way. So then with the adrenaline rush, I got duration plus 50%. I used to have this upgraded, I think. And then I used to have this, I think. Probably gonna reskill this. Actually, I'm capping. I really, I am just gonna do this right now because there's no reason to have any of this shit. Cause like this bow attack does not do like damn near any damage, bro, trust. It just doesn't. And it sucks cause I'm gonna have to use it right now with like all this extra damage taken away even more. So it's really not gonna do any damage now, but it, <laughs> it doesn't matter, dude. This does all the damage. All right, but yeah, that, that's the idea of flurry, you feel me? So then we have dash or shift, my fault. It's basically a dash, you feel me? I go this way. You got increased cooldown recovery speed and mana efficiency. That's cool, you feel me? I can use it more often and it's not as mana cost of whatever the fuck, you feel me? I got damage and damage right here, you feel me? So after using shift, my next attack will deal more damage, you feel me? It has to be a non-channeling damaging attack, which I don't channel hell of arrows. I don't channel any of this, so technically this works too, which it I wish it didn't, to be honest. Maybe I should go with channel. I don't know, but hell of arrows, you feel me, isn't channeled. So I use shift and then I pop hell of arrows and I'll get 30% plus 16%. So I'll get 46% increased damage just by shifting before using it. You feel me? That's all I got to do, which is crazy. And I want to say the buffs on these, they don't go away. I don't think it's not like after four seconds or something like it literally just you shift and whatever attack you do later is going to hit for whatever you feel me. So it's really chill. This one lowers the distance you travel whenever you use shift which is like i don't care because i have leech i stand still i'm a bow i don't i don't care i have movement speed blah 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 you feel me like you wouldn't really care it, it's pretty good still anyways plus they added dodges to the game or rolls whatever you want to call them so it's very easy to just have enough mobility regardless of losing the 30 percent and then i go this way you feel me buff duration of haste i get haste for a second and a half which is pretty cool you feel me 50 percent increased movement speed you definitely notice it and it's definitely pretty nice to get out of situations sometimes like you'll dash you won't go far enough but since you sprint you're fine you feel me it kind of covers for the distance lost so i really fuck with it and then mana gain whenever i use it you feel me this is cool because if i'm low hp i'll gain mana so that could get me out of a bad situation potentially but other than that i just don't lose mana at all when using it i technically lose one mana but like fuck off that's like literally none it's free to use this which is cool it's like there's no repercussions i could spam this motherfucker you feel me i could use it whenever as long as i don't waste it and then die because of a cooldown, you know, I'm chilling. Then I get this and vulnerability while shifting. I'm just invincible. You feel me? You can't touch me. So yeah. And then I got this. Um, I don't really know if this is worth getting, but I'm just doing it because I don't really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. I didn't realize I didn't put a point of that. I'm gonna get that, but yeah, I, I feel like this is good. Dodge rating per dexterity is pretty lit. So yeah, that, that's the whole thing. Um, and then I have uh dark quiver. You feel me? Dark quiver, black arrows, show duration, knockback distance. This is like support related stuff. It just makes the quiver better for like survivability this will slow enemies nearby this will knock enemies back this just gives me more arrows so i'll have a higher chance of finding them kind of so whatever and then we got this fucking killer right here damage over time plus 120 percent that's crazy you feel me you saw my percent earlier i have 440 percent or some shit 120 percent is pretty good uh damage plus 48 percent and then mana consumed plus 20 we don't care about mana consumed whatsoever we use flurry to just get our mana back who cares plus we have 248 i don't even know how we have 248 but we have 248 mana use it once and then you don't have to touch it for like 10 seconds you feel me so it's very chill and then the 50 percent damage basically that's lit additional physical damage plus 20 i have no idea how good a flat physical damage is like i don't know how good plus one plus seven plus 30 i don't really i know it scales by the percentage and shit and i could probably just add it up but i want to say i i don't know where the fuck that's at see like these are just percentages and then there's nothing right here either if i go to other so like you would even think it would be here maybe because you got all this other stuff like frostbite i don't really know how it works you feel me so i i just max it out because why not then i got this physical resistance shred chance plus 90 percent wait this is useless because hell of arrows can't even do that i don't think like it it never does 
So this is actually useless, unless I'm using it with Flurry, which I'm not. That's insane. You feel me? Like, this this works for me. I have all the damage nodes there are, you feel me, that I could get to. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I just found something. Okay, so I don't know how good this is, because you gotta go through four, and then five, six. You gotta go through six different things just to get this one. But it turns crit chance into damage over time by 200%. And I'm wondering if I could have, like, a ton of damage over time scaled already, and then get a bunch of crit chance on my thing, which I know how to because I did it before, but I took a lot of it off, but then scale all that crit chance into damage over time at a 200% rate. I bet you doing that would low-key be better than just going with all the attack nodes, you feel me? Like all the damage nodes and shit. I bet you it would be better to just go for full crit and then go for as many damage nodes as I can after that, and then just turn all the crit into damage over time. Let me try to theory craft. I don't need these. These are useless. Like, okay, that's one, two, three, four four nodes that I could just, or four levels I could get back. So then we got eight. One, two, six, seven. I still have one extra one. I could either put that right here. I don't care about this. I don't care about this. I mean, I probably care about this more than any of the other ones. So yeah, I might end up doing that, dude. Wait, I could do that right now. I don't even gotta unspec anything else. There's no reason to not do it. Frit chance. Hold up, bro. Can I, can I like do anything with that? Like literally right now? All right, bro. Let's see. So we're going to try to put a lot of shit into this because that's 12 percent in a single level is there a better spot to get crit multiplier this gives eight percent and it gives bow damage so it might be better but honestly i think 12 percent just by itself oh wait if i get this to five okay wait, wait, wait no, no no so we're actually not gonna do this one because this one has to be better once i get it up to level five i'll get an additional two percent per level so it's actually ten percent so that would be fifty percent crit and then it'll be five extra thing and then 50% it'll turn into 100% damage over time which will convert my 440 damage over time into 540 and then on top of that will be even more and more and more because of the other shit I have holy shit okay 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 so I got to add a level into that Hello, talk to her and we gotta refund some shit all right so for one let's just kind of respect some leech bro let's just respect all of it well maybe not all of it let's just do we'll leave that dude fuck it i don't know if that's worth anything but whatever so now we got this that's 50 percent extra uh crit chance and then five bow damage which is lit okay wait, wait, wait. so with this increase crit chance by three percent per stack you can have five so that's 15 percent i think i have to level this up yeah i think i gotta go with this dude like that's that's 15 crit all i gotta do is get on hit there's no other requirement i can use flurry which i do while it's using hell of arrows and it'll just scale it you feel me by a fuck ton and it says on hit like the hell of arrows shoots really fast bro on hit it's gonna happen really fast five times now the question is what do i take out i mean i could just level up and then you know get it like that but here okay i'm gonna take out the rest of this leech that, if i turn out to be getting shredded because my leech is not good enough and my health is too low then and we'll do something about it but i mean i have leech on this you feel me so there's already six percent leech anyways like i don't really need Hello. that all right so we're gonna whopping two points I need three more, bro. I want to max that out for it to really be worth it. Wait, okay, what's this? You feel me? So this is technically... Because if I max this out, that'll be 15% every five stacks. And then five times 15 is 75. So this will be 75% increased damage, basically. Whereas this is only 50%, but there's an extra five bow damage. Okay, okay, okay. I think I understand the reason why this is a better idea, right? We're going to respect this, and then we're going to put it over here. That was not enough points. What am I doing? All right, so the reason why we're going to do that is because this only adds an additional 2% per level whenever I get the bonus, you feel me? It already gives you a pretty good chunk, right? So it's whatever, and then I get bow damage anyways, right? This only gives me a solid amount of crit chance per stack when it's at 5%, or whenever it's at full max, you feel me? Like, I might as well just go all the way, right? This is pretty decent regardless, so we're just going to uh, go with this. My damage should be a lot better now. Oh, wait, have I actually, have I actually done this yet? Okay, I still got to do this, but I mean, it's not going to take long because because this is the support, take that off, this is the support, take that off, this is the support, take that off. We're chilling. None of this does actual damage or anything really to help other than just kind of just doing random small shit. So I don't really need any of that. We'll just go from here and I'm just gonna go to here as fast as I can, bro. Fuck. I'm sitting here rebuilding it mid fucking thing, bro. This is crazy. All right, so that, that was Dark Quiver, you feel me? That was, that was everything in Dark Quiver. Holy shit. Um, I think I went over all this. So then we got Smoke Bomb. All right, Smoke Bomb. It's just like, it's also here to raise damage, but it's also 
also support so you got area plus 100 percent because you know that's chill it just makes the area bigger it's just nice or whatever then you got duration plus 50 percent it makes it easier to recycle because i do more damage in it because of down here you feel me um well i guess i don't do more damage in it but i thought i did do more damage in it technically i do more damage with it because it shreds armor and then it also well that's about it it shreds armor but it slows enemies down too and then i might go this way for frailty and shit but i thought this did more damage i didn't realize this didn't increase my damage at all that's crazy but yeah this is like survivability you know there's not really anything too crazy in here for this there might be something else i could do to like make my shit even better okay jesus christ bro those are the fucking skills this is like a terrible walkthrough explanation all right so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna like run actually hold up hold up hold up bro so i'm forgetting that like i'm like showing where i'm at right so like level 75 feel me 60 we're like past blah 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 i'm in the fortune faction feel me this shit is lit i joined the merchant last cycle and i did not like it you feel me like it was boring i didn't know how to use it i did know how to use it but it wasn't that easy you feel me like it was annoying i knew how to use it i knew how to get items early and shit but i didn't know how to like have fun with it it wasn't fun trading i couldn't flip stuff yada yada like i it was not what i was expecting it to be like feel me plus i don't know the game like that right fortune is so fun you literally just play the game like this is actually just playing the game when it comes to merchant guild you just sit there these are all the prophecies i've got right now not really gonna go through any of them i guess um actually you know what fuck it we will um i'm only gonna go through like the the ones that i actually want to go for right now so you got a monolith one right here i wish you could order them that'd be cool like i wish you could organize them but you got a monolith one you feel me i've had this one for a little minute i haven't actually found an immortal eye yet i'm pretty sure it's because i gotta get to the certain monolith but i'm not there so it's whatever but you get three unique jewelries if i do that you feel me i'd like that maybe they could be good i don't know my, my rings are like meh as far as i'm aware i don't know how good they are and then you got this unique quiver if i kill a giant scorpion you feel me i i I want this i want to try to get a good unique quiver for my setup assuming that there is one unique bow times two don't really care about that don't care about arena I got monolith unique gloves you feel me i'm gonna be trying to get this void horror you feel me death of hera you know just, just a bunch of random prophecies all right so far I'm, I'm rank five you feel me it's cool it's been getting me hella loot shit is goaded it's fucking awesome we're gonna go into this one because this one looks easy 35 percent critical strike avoidance and 15 percent increased health you got rare enemies have 50 percent increased cooldown recovery speed so there's not really like anything hard about this one but it's a level 85 area and i am level 70 whatever it was so we're gonna see how this works also i just de-leveled a bunch of my stuff so in theory i shouldn't do that good so we're gonna see how this shit goes normally what i would do you feel me this is used for clearing it's also used for killing bosses it's also used for literally everything so what i would normally do i would shoot the thing ahead like if i really want to survive and it's not just some shit where i can just run through which is what i expect it to be like in the future whenever i start doing fucking actual eruption and shit you feel me i imagine it where i actually gotta like think smart and do shit like right you feel me where i stay at a distance i i use range how it's supposed to be used i'm sitting at a distance the entire time i'm actually using my hell of arrows i'm kiting mobs in areas is there a way to tell if a map is a wave map or not because i want to do a wave map because i want to show something off with this build i'm just gonna go this way fuck it 25 percent to all resistances is like nothing rustlands arena that sounds like something that would be wave related Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So watch this, right? This is how you play this build. This shit is so stupid. You could probably push crazy corruption using this shit, right? So what you would do is like sit here at a distance. You shoot that thing down there and you don't die on accident. Holy shit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm playing bad. I'm playing bad. This is a bad spot. I gotta, I gotta recoup. I gotta recoup. All right, this is a better spot. I like this down here. So what you would do is you would just sit right here and you would just keep fucking spamming this shit over and over. We'll just sit right here. Not happening. I'll kind of just like dance around this motherfucker. You know what I mean? All right, yeah, see, now we're playing it right, you feel me? So you'll just sit here, and you'll just dance around this motherfucker, right? Over here, pick this up, you feel me? Go over here, kite everything over, you feel me? I'm not playing this super well right now, but, you know, I haven't even used a smoke bomb once yet until right there. So, you know, I'm not playing this super crazy, but... And I'm still doing good, that's the crazy part. Also, my damage is not where it's supposed to be at right now. It just shows how easy this build is to use, like... And I could be running around, too. Like, I don't have to just sit over there. It just makes it so much easier to just stay in one area and kind of just control the situation you feel me like see look at how much more damage i take whenever i'm sitting here trying to roam around versus just staying in one area playing it safe especially range mobs bro they're annoying because you can't kill them unless they get near you or at least like in range you feel me like i mean you can shoot them from a distance but this thing does not do like any damage at all you know just be big chilling you feel me just spawn that shit and just sit still you feel me sit inside the smoke bomb and they don't really hit you as much like nowhere near as much oh wait this guy's like a boss come here buddy 
Boom, instant kill. See, I didn't play that well at all, bro. I was getting hit a lot. Shit was going bad. And, you know, I'm still doing good, right? Still doing good. Go over the gear I got, you feel me? I'm just gonna go over it really, really fast because I don't know if any of this is optimal and a lot of it isn't optimal. So, <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of it is. Like, there's definitely better alternatives for, I think, every single piece of thing I have on right now. So, yeah, like, wait, like, not even just because of the level. Like, I just mean in general. Like, the affixes, the base, the everything, you feel me? So, starting with this, Bleeding Heart, you know, it gives me leech. That's literally all it gives me. I get, I get leech from it. That's it. My helmet gives me extra armor, damage over time, and bleed duration. I don't care about bleed duration that much. I mean, I will once I upgrade my flurry a little bit. The increased damage over time is insane. Like, what? There's just 94% just sitting on a helmet, and then you still get 115 armor? That's fucking insane. I don't even understand that. And I got plus 76 mana, because why not? You feel me? It was just on it, and the base was really good, so I just decided to try to craft on it. And the result wasn't that good, but it's okay. You feel me? So, like, dexterity plus 8, which was a max roll, which, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just only... It was a tier 5, though, so max craft on that. Elemental resistance shitty roll but it doesn't really matter who cares max craft on that as well and then sadly the increased armor and then the sealed affix at the bottom are both low level the sealed affix came on this like it was just here it was already here when i got the helmet but the increased armor i was trying to upgrade that and like maybe i should have started with it i don't know looking back i should have instead of going with dexterity and shit but yeah i didn't do it until the last one and it only got to tier two because i got kind of unlucky with the uh scrolls it didn't fucking all of them counted as like like hella so yeah man uh could be way better but still pretty pretty good in my opinion this was an upgrade when i found it you feel me obviously i'm wearing it. and then you got this this is also really fucking cool right so plus 64 armor plus 17 percent necrotic rest i don't care about the base right the base is whatever which is what i mean by like a lot of my shit's not optimal it could be way better this is a perfect example eight percent increased mana which you could argue is useless to me because i don't even need that much mana but eight percent increased mana plus three hail of arrows which is crazy for me because that's literally what i'm using and plus three is really good because as many points as i could get just each point is another set of damage you know what i mean there's so many damage nodes that i could just keep upgrading it and then you get 116 percent increased bow damage i don't even know what like the chances of this is but i got both of those in the same thing which is crazy like that's really cool to me and it was exalted like that's fucking lit bro i was so hyped when i got this and then on the suffixes i got armor plus 134 max craftable and then dodge rating plus 121 max rating or max craftable i meant which you know I, I did those both myself obviously and then you got the sealed affix which i want to say i sealed that but i can't remember i i can't remember i want to say it was sealed when i got it but i don't know because i started sealing stuff but i've only sealed like one or two items and i don't remember what they were but yeah th this shit was pretty fucking good like i definitely fuck with this piece this piece is really good all right then we got my bow you feel me this bow is also really good um the base is good 60 bow damage i haven't really found anything better that has stuff to add on to blah, blah blah it's got plus 33 bow damage which i mean is a whatever roll it's whatever it's tier six as well you know we'll get upgrades later on in the future but yeah increased physical damage 95 percent that's pretty goaded you feel me max craftable uh increased stun chance once again pretty goaded it's only tier three but it's pretty goaded and then chance to shock on hit plus 46 percent kind of annoyed by that because i would have rather had the increased stun chance but it's whatever i guess i mean i already have a lot of stun chance so it's like fuck it dude 79 percent is fine i guess this quiver is also pretty decent so it's got bow damage and then bow stun chance like built into it which is fine i guess you feel me i'm using both of those so it's whatever and then we get increased bow damage and then bow physical damage as well both of those max craftables 12 is just a meh roll and then 43 percent is a fucking shitty roll so that's whatever and then you got 48 percent increased stun chance which is tier 4 and then 15 percent elemental res which is tier 4 i added both of those myself because i needed both of those increased stun chance was just fucking random but once i got it i kept it you feel me and i just kept going so i only got that to that and that's maxed out uh all these have the maxed out forging potential can't really do anything with them so yeah could have maybe done something better with them but this is the outcome i got so it's like whatever so then we got this belt right this belt fucking sucks it's decent i guess it gives me a lot of poison resistance a lot of cold resistance and if we look at my shit my poison resistance is only at 68 percent. so if i didn't have this my poison res would be at like 30 percent, and then my cold is at 114 
15 so 40 is very overkill dude this is sending me all the way to 115 i don't even need this like i could take this off and my cold res is fine Dad, i really want to swap this belt and then do something about my poison res that isn't this because th this is shitty you know this is a detriment to my build you know what i mean plus i only have three affixes on it like there's not even four affixes so like that's that's crazy to me it's got 36 percent increased physical damage which is a tier four uh decent roll i guess it's got 11 percent increased health which is a max craftable you feel me um whatever roll and then it's got a 35 percent critical strike avoidance which is a pretty good roll and i actually like critical strike avoidance like everything on it is decent increased health is good increased physical damage is good and then critical strike avoidance is good all of that is good it's just the rolls aren't even like that high and we got a five five and a four there's not a fourth affix you feel me the base is shit so i want to replace this then we got this copper ring you feel me we'll go over the two rings this one gives me increased critical strike chance which i guess is cool because that scales my shit now that i think about it i should probably look for bronze rings because they have critical strike chance i'm gonna start looking at bases i haven't looked at item bases like at all while playing you feel me that's one of the problems that i have while playing i keep forgetting that like you gotta get your specific set piece technically you feel me so 38 percent increased critical strike chance we got 79 percent increased physical damage very shitty roll but whatever bro it's exalted i mean it's i'll take it it's pretty cool this is definitely a really good thing as far as just that then you got freeze rate multiplier and cold resistance this is the part that pisses me off bro that is terrible i don't need that whatsoever and then you got physical resistance plus 44 percent if you notice something funny i only have 44 percent resistance you feel me so this is literally all of my resistance i didn't even know that until right now so i should probably do something about that as well because i do want to try to change this ring and then we got void resistance 26 percent feel me that's like a good little third of my void resistance so taking this off would put me in shambles bro zero physical 30 void we already have 44 lightning like i can't really handle all of this you feel me so and then we got this ring right this ring as far as the base goes fucking useless i'm literally only using it because of the affixes i don't even use dodge like at all i mainly pay attention to armor so i can try to tank while i leech you feel me that's like my idea so dodge rating plus 15 is completely irrelevant increased physical damage by 43 percent max craftable terrible roll once again so increased damage over time by 93 percent you know uh exalted i fuck with that and it's almost a max roll i really fuck with that so having this ring on is really cool if anything you feel me if i can find a different ring like i want to find a unique ring that's really good and then i want to get lp on it and then i want to slam something like this onto it and then i want to get the physical damage and the increased damage over time and then that would make it so fucking crazy you feel me then we got plus 42 health i don't care about that and then we got elemental resistance i don't care about that that's the problem if i go to slam this on a something bro and i get those two it would suck but it's okay i'm fortunate i get hell items bro it's whatever so we got these gloves right the base is decent 36 armor 28 mana increased mana regen actually no it's not i don't use mana that much you feel me i don't need mana regen because i get it back and then mana plus 28 like i'm, I'm saying all this but i have 248 that's the reason why i'm saying all this like maybe i do need some of this mana but i don't need this much mana you know what i mean so yeah so then as far as the uh, things we got plus seven strength so this is one of the things i was talking about whenever i said i have 15 strength you know seven of it's right here on accident there's nothing i could do about it <laughs> zero forging potential basically the reason why it happened i was re-rolling shards to like get a different affix and it maxed out its strength so out of everything i could have fucking got it gave me something that does literally nothing for me at all i think strength might give me some type of fucking like armor or something i think so i at least get more armor having this on but it's not like that much dude like i could have been way better off getting like an armor percentage or some shit actually you can't even get that i don't know i guess that wasn't that bad i get armor from it it's whatever it could have been better though so then we got 84 percent increased damage over time once again another exalted you're gonna notice that a lot you got exalted bow damage exalted physical damage exalted damage over time exalted damage over time like everything <laughs> that is exalted is based around damage like you could see what my main focus is it's crazy so yeah the 84 percent not a crazy roll not a bad roll it's whatever tier six whatever you feel me. then we got plus 54 health plus 102 armor the 102 armor is pretty lit that's tier five you know max craftable and it's a pretty solid roll and then the health i don't really care about health that much but that's a damn near perfect roll and it's tier four so i'll definitely take that so then we got these boots you feel me plus eight armor i don't know how much armor boots normally have but eight sounds like a very small amount to me so that shit kind of annoys me and then you got 11 percent increased movement speed that's normal i guess i don't know i'm pretty sure it's normally higher than that but maybe it's not i don't know and then you got 16 percent increased cooldown recovery speed for evade i like that i find that part cool i can use my evade more you feel me i like that so it's whatever 
I definitely feel like there's a better base though for me to get. As far as the affixes, we got plus seven strength. That's actually funny. You got, I that happened twice to me. So boom, 13% increased movement speed, which is tier four. Was gonna go for tier five, but it didn't let me, you feel me? So I would have had a little bit more movement speed. We got plus 176 armor, decent roll. You know, not really good, not bad, you feel me? But it was like pretty good, solid, I guess, like decent. Maybe you could slam this onto something, you feel me? Cause I mean, other than the dodge rating, anything that gets slammed could be good. You feel me? Depending on what I do it on. Cause plus seven strength, increased movement speed, and then armor. All of these are probably just end up slamming on some shit whenever I can, but you know. Then we got this, you feel me? This is the last thing. Chance to shred armor on hit. That's like almost useless, but it's like whatever. That's the only thing that came on it. There's so many better relics to get, I'm pretty sure, but whatever. 41% increased damage over time. Terrible roll, max craftable. 42% increased physical damage, max craftable, terrible roll. So that's insane. And then you got necrotic resistance, tier three. You got 42 health on tier four. Both of those are meh. And then you got plus one to aerial assault, 32% increased minion damage, which does not matter to me at all. But it's tier four and it's sealed. So that's like kind of cool, I guess. I could use this on an alt account, but like, I don't really know if I'm gonna ever use a fucking falconer. So I don't know. But as far as right now, you know, I'm using that. And uh, that's all that, you know, as far as the idols, it's just random shit, evening out resistance and some of it giving me damage, but most of it just doing resistances. And until I do a bunch of monoliths and get my blessings up to get my resistance is good, you feel me? It's gonna be like that, you know? All right, I'm gonna echo. I just found a uh, exalted mage or whatever. <laughs> I wanna show this shit. So I was gonna shoot that. I was gonna just open them up, you feel me? It's gonna do that. And let's just uh, see what happens. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty simple, you know? Look at how much little damage I do with this shit, you know what I mean? But, like, this shit does, like, all the damage. This motherfucker's trying to, like, spar with me, dude. He's, like, keeping up and shit. Back up, bro. My damage isn't scaled enough yet. So, like, I know you saw that and you're like, oh, you didn't really kill him that fast. Like, that wasn't even really that good, blah, blah, blah. Trust, right? I'm on the verge of, like, getting this to insanity, all right? I'm only two levels away. I gotta get this once and I can get this. This will turn all my crit chance into damage over time at a rate of 200%. And as far as right now, my crit chance is only... Eight. Wait, what? Wait, hold up. Increase critical strike chance. Okay, so right now it says only eight, but I think it's because I have to do damage. Like, I have to stack some shit. Well, we'll see in a second. All right, bro. Fucking log it back in because my game just crashed. That's so fun. Let's go back to the Reign of Dragons. You know I mean? Level 85 area. I'm level 75. Not a flex or nothing. All right, so I just failed on that one. So I'm not going to get stability if I do it. So this one makes them deadly if they have not been damaged recently. That don't mean shit to me. But this one goes this way. So we're going to go this way. Let's go and see this shit, bro. Game keeps freezing. Gotta be really careful with that because it'll fucking crash. All right, so you feel me? You know, you just run through. You know, you see some mobs. You know, you kind of just avoid a lot of shit. You shoot some arrows. I'm playing really reckless right now. I'm just running through, just not giving a fuck. If it was in like a way higher corruption, if I could die easier, yada yada, I would take a little safer. But I can tank little hits and shit. What's whatever. Like all this shit, this don't really matter. You know, I don't gotta kill any of that. Just keep running through. Uh, been really wanna go into this corner, pop some smoke bomb. You know, chill with this up for a second. I mean. I get out. You know, it's a really safe build, you know? I don't know how I just got stuck on that. I don't know if I actually have to kill these fucking mobs, dude. Because, like, it says slay mobs to find whatever the fuck. But I've, I've had it say that, and I'd never killed a mob, and it actually find where it's at without doing anything. It's like, where the fuck am I supposed to go, bro? Oh, shit, here we go. Oh, I thought it instant killed them, bro. I was My game is fucking freezing, bro. Stop. I can't see what the fuck I'm trying to attack. All right, so I'm going to um, go over here, pop the little thingy, you feel me? And I'm going to grab that, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to do that. Watch. The second he comes over, he's fucking dead. If he comes over here, dog. Come here. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Come here, bro. Walk forward. What is he fucking doing, bro? Holy shit. All right, hold up. Give me another fucking arrow. Stay right there. Boom. Now die. Oh, you lucky motherfucker, bro. All right, now you're dead. All right, that, that wasn't a good example, bro. He, like, I didn't know how to fight that guy. I didn't know what he was doing. You feel me? That's not like, you know, that wasn't a good example. 
should really be paying attention to these item bases because I have no idea what the items are I'm looking for. I'm gonna have frailty, so smoke bombs, so I could have a little bit more survivability with it. I'm gonna grab this, you feel me, one level away, and I can get that damage over time. I keep forgetting I don't even have it yet, dude. Like, that's the reason why I'm not doing that good. I took a lot of my damage off just to get crit chance, just to get the idea of crit chance, and now I don't have this, so now it's just no damage at all, really. You know what I just realized? This says crit chance damage over time. Does it actually change crit chance? Because it doesn't say... Normally, it warns you. Normally, it's like this converts all crit chance into damage over time, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't actually warn you about anything. So I wonder if it actually just converts it, but you could still crit. That would be fucking crazy. That would... Dude, that would be insane. What the fuck? That, there's no way. I'm gonna probably get the dexterity upgrade. Yeah get that dexterity upgrade so like i use this i'm almost invincible the dodge rating is gonna be high as fuck i use smoke bomb i'm gonna be pretty tanky because the frailty so we'll be uh chilling i use this this has my damage and then i use this to get all my mana back and everything and to do a little extra damage i guess all right let's just run another one bro they get frenzy and haste fuck it i'm actually just gonna cut to when i'm at the final boss i'm just gonna play through the thing a little bit because i do want to show me killing like something actually substantial other than just a random echo and shit all right a couple echoes later you feel me if i do this this shit will go up to here and i can do all of them 18 percent increased health and damage it's whatever we're just gonna do it and we got the fucking the nemesis bro let me add them bro Y'all all die real quick let me uh make some moves over here you feel me? Bro, trying to catch me lacking, bro. It don't work like that, dog. I gotta get rid of all these motherfuckers. Like, like these dudes, annoying as fuck, bro. Get out. So this is how I do this. This is this is how fast you go through this. First off, let's go ahead and scale my shit. Look, crit chance, damage over time. So now I'm gonna do way more damage. This is all the loot I've gotten so far. You know, it's whatever. This is the loot that he has for me. He has this, which I don't know if this is good or not. I didn't actually look at this whenever I empowered him. Whenever I found him, I was just panicking and I clicked it instantly. I didn't really care what it was. Good thing it was too unique, so I'm happy about that. But no idea if these are good or not i think i already i don't have one i don't have either of these that's the, that's the only thing i'm happy about i don't have either of them. uh as far as these i don't i mean this is cool i guess but like i'm not using this it would be cool but i'm not like using this so yeah and then this is useless to me what i'll do is so like i'll i'm, I'm gonna cast this i'm gonna stand in the corner while i cast it you feel me so that all of them go right here and then i'm gonna pop a thing right underneath them actually no hold on let me do that again just to make sure let me get a dash i'm gonna pop a thing right under him and then I'm gonna challenge him, pop the smoke bomb, sit at a distance where I could go ahead and get all the thing, and then he'll just instant die. Okay, he kind of got out of it for a second there, so I gotta like re-hit him, but... Alright, he keeps just fucking moving, dude. Come here. Thank you. If he didn't move out of the way, because like I accidentally messed it up, if he didn't move out of the way the first time, he would have actually died in one single turn. Like I've killed him in one go every single time. Also, I didn't really do it that well. So basically, right, my flurry, I get crit chance with that because on hit i get a lot of crit at range i think above like fucking 10 or something like that meters right and i was too close to him at first so i wasn't actually getting the crit and the crit that i get from that raises my damage over time by a lot so it scales my attack even more and if i would have done it just that much sooner bro i would instant killed him i need to stop yapping let me go do the thing all right so we got like a little boss going i just dodged this fucking ultra attack Let's do that. Easy. Go at a distance. Go over here. You're just dead, bro. Where do you even shoot? Like, you don't even know where I'm at. I'm moving too fast. I'm like Goku, bro. I'm Ultra Instinct in this bitch, bro. Like, actually. I just started to- Oh, there was a mage over there. It's whatever, bro. It's whatever. I wanted to show off the mage kill, bro. Again. All right, I'm gonna do all these now. Oh, wait. I'm not actually at it, apparently. What? What type of bullshit is that? We're gonna do this one, because taking less damage is whatever. That's annoying. I swear the bar was above it. Not at to start an exalt drop but like i'm fortune so i don't even give a fuck bro it could be something really good but i'm just so greedy i'm not gonna go back for it plus i'm not in corruption or nothing bro i'll just get something better later on why well, i actually gotta fucking slay enemies like i don't right i could just end up running into it or does like killing enemies market i feel like it doesn't do anything bro it never does another exalt just drop that was close not happening Try to keep up, bro. Try to keep up, bro. All right, they almost kept. They 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 almost kept up right there. All right, dude. Holy shit! I'm not ready for all of this. My game is lagging. All right, let's see it. Not happening. All right, is it done lagging? 
It's not lagging, it's all the people are dead. So let me try to like actually like do some shit. Yeah, bitch, the fuck down. My frames are like dying, bro. There's just too much stuff going on. Yeah, I can't even pick up the idol, bro. From all these little echoes, bro, at level fucking 76, you know, all this shit, this is what I've gotten. This is what fortune does for you, bro. And you you heard all the exalts, bro. I don't even go for them, like, honestly. I only go for them when I notice them, like, when I actually see them. Other than that, bro, I just let them go. My shit's full. I can't even put them up. I'm gonna have to start mismatching shit, bro. Something I want to show off real quick, bro, is just this little stash, bro. Like, these are all my little low-level uniques that I can use on other accounts, bro. Like, I could just create another character and put these bitches on, and it'll be so easy to level it up. Dude, I've got to loot faster than this, bro. Like, this is fucking horrendous, man. Alright, bro. A rot. Oh, this is the one with a rot. I actually want to do this one. I want to see how fast I can kill this motherfucker, because you be standing still. Let me fight somebody, bro. Hmm. Yes. Oh, I swear to God. Ah, never mind. Oh yeah, I have like hella cold res, Not so this happening. shit- This is gonna be so easy fighting this motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I got hella cold resistance. That was- <laughs> That was fast as fuck, dude. I just instant killed every single one of them, bro. Like, they had little blue health bars, bro. That shit- They had to have not had that much HP. Oh, dude, you really want the smoke? Not happening. Oh, GG's fucking suck, bro. Oh, he wants the smoke. Watch this shit. Oh wait. What brings you? Do you here? want the smoke, bro? What? And then of course I get nothing, bro. I almost just did an echo on accident. All right, we're doing the other mission now. We got we got two more quests. Two more quests. Oh, let's go, Not little happening. fucking boss. I just jumped right into that, dude. What am I doing? I need to scale my damage more, bro. I'm supposed to be one cycling for y'all, bro. Like, I look like a bot, man. I look, 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 watch. Look at that one cycle. Okay, never mind, bro. It was close. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from, dog? Is he just gonna stay in the middle? I bet that. Hold up. Let's stack. Let's stack. Let's stack. Boom. 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 Easy, bro. Just a bunch of stacking, bro. That's all it is. I was even looking at right here. I was literally only looking at my health bar. Like, I was just seeing if I was gonna get one hit or not. <laughs> I heard that little bit thing. That should, that should be spooky, bro. Like, am I gonna die? Am I not gonna die? Who knows? And if I die, I gotta do a whole other echo, bro. Alright, bro. Let's go and, uh, I guess fight the, uh, whatever his name is. But you can see his shadows. Alright, so watch this, watch this, watch this. Get that preemptively ready. Dash into it. Hit him with it. Go with that. How to back up a little bit. How to get in a little bit. Let's go ahead and get some more arrows ready, you feel me? All right, let's hit him with this again. Let's go with that. We just out heal that because we don't really care. Not happening. Trying to get another bomb going. All right, let's get another one of these going. You feel me? And then let's get really close. You feel me? Let's get. Let's get. All right, let's not get it going. Okay, you just one hit me. So one of the issues I'm having right now is I'm not stacking this enough. That's like the main thing I'm seeing because I was looking down. I'm, I'm supposed to be shooting more. Like, I don't know, bro. I got I got to play better. Like, watch. I'll show you what I mean. I'll do it on this attempt. I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'll explain it. Look, it even loaded in fast because it knows I'm not trolling. Watch this shit. Roundably get it ready. Hit him with it. My smoke bomb. Start shooting. Just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Just hold it. Go. Nope. All right. Now we're going to go over here. Hit him with that. And just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then we're gonna go over here, pop it again, pop one just in case. And we're gonna pop another one, pop a smoke bomb. Look at how much faster this is. How did he 
fucking so like okay the only thing i don't like about that why doesn't he have a fucking ground animation bro like every boss everything i fight has a ground animation everything lights up he just randomly does that shit why can't he mark it like it's fire going across the entirety of the screen why can't he mark that <laughs> that's not fair all right well now i know every single time he's looking at me just be worried i guess Bullshit. Not happening. See, every single time he looks at me, bro, just be worried. Get optimal time to just stack. Just, just fucking just sit here and do this. Boom. And with that. Like that. Not happening. Make sure we dodge some shit coming. Pop a smoke bomb just in case. That somehow hit me. I call bullshit. Not happening. Go right here, get that, pop a smoke bomb, get it. Be ready to dodge. Boom. Not happening. Ready to dodge. Boom easy bro see like okay i just gotta play the build better one thing that i know i struggle with is these bro the dark quiver there's seven arrows bro i have an ample enough of arrows to be able to just pick up whenever i want you know what i mean i'm sitting here only picking up one and then i'm worrying about casting it again another issue is smoke bomb bro i don't even look at my abilities i'm sitting there spamming q hoping it puts down a bomb when i don't even know if i could use it and i gotta realize that i have duration on it a lot but i don't have a lot of like fucking cooldown you feel me i don't think at least you feel me so it, it takes a minute to get it back. I got to realize that. So that's something else I got to work on. And then I was working on the whole flurry thing, making sure I stack the crit multiplier thingy so that my hell of arrows could do more damage. You feel me? And it was work. I, I started getting better at doing that. I was keeping a consistent 10. You feel me? But there were certain times where I was slowing down. I was fucking up and I wasn't using these correctly. And I kept running out of dashes and I, I was just spamming shit. And definitely been gonna have to work on a lot of that. Let's see. You got increased necrotic damage, increased slow on hit or 32 percent necrotic resistance it sucks how that's half these two are like fucking up there bro but i don't need these two i need this one necrotic resistance it'd, it'd be great if it could have gave me like a really good one but i guess that was cool bro fuck it claim my reward i was about to say i thought he dropped nothing so you got a rune of ascendance awesome dude that's lit that's like basically a unique and then we got this i don't know what this is symbol of demise it looks um what does demise do this looks like it could be pretty good well actually this looks like it could be really good isn't 144 percent ward retention a lot sounds like a fucking lot dude and a single item plus the 12 intelligence plus the 27 ward per second plus the ward gain on kill but i don't really know how major that is and then it consumes three per second to give you up to 200 percent bleed chance that's insane and then you also get one percent increased bleed duration but that doesn't say anything about up to blink so they're assuming you're getting 20 stacks of demise i wonder how many stacks you can get of this this seems broken dude it seems like you could do some crazy builds with this but i didn't get any uh any potential any any lp so fuck it where's the bridge at i'm starting to open up into the uh the higher level monos bro i'm starting to be with the big boys bro I'm about to be empowered soon you already know we're gonna walk through and open what's going on game boom i know i could just teleport to the waypoint and then just get the bridge and that'd probably be easier but walking around all this cool shit is way better but look at this point of view dude you don't get this looking at the fucking loading screen i look at the loading screen over and over and over again doing fucking monos bro all right cool so now i can jump in all of these wait what is this oh wait never mind wait yeah what is this oh wait yeah that's the okay wait so what is that gonna be though i actually i don't know what that is because if that's a waypoint and it's a place i wonder if i'm gonna consistently be able to just go there and do shit that would be so crazy i know these these, these are the regular monos and then this doesn't have a level requirement that's the guy the fucking whatever they're called dude <laughs> i forgot the names i don't understand this empowered timelines and unlocked isn't it just gonna unlock all 10 of them at once once i do them like by default oh wait empowered timelines does it mean like these yeah there's no way it's talking about empowered timelines can i go through quests empowered like can i go through these areas while they're empowered that would be so fucking cool i didn't even know that if that's what if that's what 
what that means, and that's really cool. That is fucking awesome. Monolith completion. So that's the reason why I'm like confused, because like monolith completion and then empowered timelines unlocked. See, like this is what I don't understand. Why do they call them timelines and then monoliths? Like, why don't they just call it one thing, bro? I'm sitting here thinking they released some cool fucking thing. That would have been cool. Like, imagine you could go back through all these areas, but it has like leveling that like I forgot what that shit's called. But you know what I mean, bro? Like, let's say you have like 500 corruption, bro. You could go to divine era and you could run through the hero beret whatever the fuck area in 300 400 500 corruption or whatever like, let's say you just spawn right here and you're just running from town you're just like all right bro i'm gonna go from here to here to here to here to here or like you could go do your side quests and shit while they're empowered because i didn't do mine as you can see I, I still have a bunch of side quests it'd be so cool if i could go back and do them empowered and then it'd be like an additional like feature of the game you feel me it'd sort of be like additional content when in all reality it's not because i mean i'm just gonna end up blasting through it all right but yeah that's all this shit you feel me i've gotten all these blessings i still gotta do these three and then once i do these three i'll find out what the fuck this is um builds looking pretty cool i ended up getting this maxed out this is what i went with i added leech to this to get the life steal because i was dying but like i don't know maybe i should just replace it with damage i don't fucking know bro i'm just gonna leave it like this you feel me everything's cool i want to add some points and other shit but i don't want to lessen my radius more than it already is so i don't want to do that you feel me and then i'm pretty sure this is better than this so i'm just going with this and i have have to have at least two in this so and then i want full in this so yeah that's that you feel me i got this i'm going down here i don't really know if this is doing literally anything but every other spot doesn't really do anything so in my skill tree i could go through it but i mean this is what i did I, I feel like i could definitely push corruption with this build i just i'm just gonna keep tweaking it as i go you feel me like i said before trial and error over and over again until shit works you feel me if it ain't working just keep going until it's working you feel me and uh yeah that's it and then this is how much fucking favor i have all, all that shit I did which I mean I haven't been playing this entire time like I haven't been playing for hours straight but all that shit I just did was only 3k favor so that's cool I guess